everyone, welcome once again to Abitronics here. I wanted to share, after terminating almost 200 mini compression connectors onto mini car wax, I said, let me share this with you because it's very simple. We're using Holland Electronics 1855, SLC 1855 FPU compression connectors for mini coax. We're actually using their coaxial cable as well. It's a very premium type mini coax 23 gauge conductor. Again, that's key. A lot of companies, they actually reduce the, uh, they chintz out on the core copper and I'm a big man, a fan of using the actual 23 gauge. Then you're going to need a compression tool, right? As always, you're going to need a good set of cable cutters and your prep tool. So let's go through the steps real quick. Okay, we have our mini coax, okay? I always like to cut to make sure that we have a clean cut across the conductor. Here we have the Ripley's LDT Mini. Great little tool, inexpensive. You want to put it, slide it into the jaws until it hits the stopper. One, two, three, four. I like to go back a couple times and forward again. And you can see now we have a quarter inch of the conductor exposed. Got to peel back the braid, nice and neat, okay? Then what we want to do is we want to take your compression connector, you want to slide it in, you got a little window there, you want to continue to proceed to push through till you see the actual PVC and, bla and PVC jacket and the braid go in. At that point you know that the conductor is making pin contact, okay, into the center. We take our compression connector, this one happens to be uh, a universal compression connector for BNC, RCA and F tools, and there you have it, a well compressed mini coaxial compression connector onto your mini coax cable.